Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Richard Darkowski. I work for Microsoft uh, for the last uh, 16 years. Uh, sorry for my slides. Uh, all are in Polish because I just have been in informed that I should uh, talk in English uh, a minute before I started. So, so I did not manage to translate everything into English. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, about program, which is, uh, as Rafael mentioned, which is uh, focused for on companies for small and bigger software companies. Uh, the program is not uh, not connected with only with Microsoft technologies. Uh, but okay, it will be later a little bit. But why I'm here? Why Microsoft is uh, here on Open Source Conf Conference? Any idea? Okay. We are going to replace. <laughs> this is this is very very awful. Microsoft and open source? You're kidding? It can't be true. So actually, it is. As you probably know, uh, Linux version 3.0 kernel was a big bunch of this uh, this kernel was written by Microsoft programmer. Uh, Kai, Kai Srivasan, uh, he, work, he used to work in, uh, in a novel, after that he moved to Microsoft, he worked in our inter interoperability bridges uh, team, and uh, he was the, the biggest contributor to the, the newest uh, Linux kernel. Uh, it's not the only one, I have a 90 minutes presentation about what Microsoft do with open source and for open source and what we have from this uh, cooperation, but it's not uh, not subject for today. So, uh, this is why we are here, why Microsoft is uh, interested in, in uh, open source. The funny thing is that Microsoft is the uh, fifth largest co contributor to, to Linux kernel. So, tell me, which place has, uh, for example, Google? Maybe Oracle? Who knows? It will be a prize. Uh, Google is 13th. Oracle is 7th. So we contribute a little bit more than, than, the, than uh, they contribute to Linux. And it is not our idea. This is, uh, it is not our, our um, research. It is uh, from LWN Net, which uh, which uh, measure contribution to, to, to Linux, and it is uh, from the uh, la latest report from 451 Group that Microsoft contributes quite huge bunch of work into into Linux. So that's that's why I'm here. Okay, uh, enough of this uh, introduction, <laughs> and. Uh, I will go to, to, the, to the subject of this uh, presentation. So, uh, in Central and Eastern Europe countries, we started a program called Your Business, Your Fame. In Polish, it's Twoja uh, Firma, Twoja Szansa na Sukces. Your Business, Your Fame is a program connected with competition for companies, software companies, uh, for companies uh, creating uh, software connected with uh, cloud computing and and everything about it so there is no uh, there is no uh, okay we don't have we don't have special special topics of the software so you can you can uh, invent and uh, write any any kind of software you want uh, to it is uh, very innovative. It is kind of Imagine Cup. Who who know what is uh, Imagine Cup? One person. Okay. So you should ask this uh, this guy with uh, glasses and red hair. Uh, what is Imagine? What is Imagine Cup? It is a special program for students. And uh, your business, your fame, is is uh, focused on companies, not on students, not non, not on individuals. Uh, so it is kind of Imagine Cup the film, very, very Imagine Cup for companies. It is a very big, big program. 
as I, as I told, it is uh, for Central and Eastern Europe, Europe uh, region, but uh, in Poland there is a kind of uh, our local, local um, program. And uh, of course, for, for Polish readers, uh, you can find all details in uh, www.microsoft.pl slash twoja firma. <coughs> you can find uh, everything with um, stat status, with registration, with um, more information, but I will, I will tell a little bit about it uh, in short. So, how about uh, competition, programming competition? Uh, we cooperate uh, with Polish... Uh, uh, Polish Agency for Entrepreneur, Entrepreneur Development. Development. So. Okay, we cooperate with uh, with this and engaging uh, Angel of Business into into this uh, into this competition. Uh, it's focused, as I told, and uh, I will repeat it again. Uh, only for companies, not individuals. But uh, I know <coughs> I don't know any student of IT who uh, doesn't have company. So I think any of you can start or just register your company and start in, uh, in this, uh, in this uh, competition. Uh, we should two categories. We have uh, two categories for, for application. One is focused on Windows Azure, which is a cloud platform. Uh, Windows Azure, uh, as, uh, as you know, it is cloud computing from Microsoft. But, uh, but the difference of this, uh, of this platform is that it's not focused on Microsoft technologies. You can run any kind of application written in OSS, open source technologies uh, like uh, PHP or Java, uh, using Eclipse platform, you can run it on uh, Windows Azure. The second category is uh, applications from Windows Phone. So nothing, nothing in this for, for us, for Linux. Wait a second. We have two special prizes. Uh, how to start? How to start the competition? There is a short, uh, short agenda. How to how to do it? Uh, it will be the slides will be available after the conference. It will be published somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it will be uh, available for you, and uh, you can uh, you can read and, uh, and follow the the agenda. Uh, what about? Is it worth to worth to, to start to, to try? I think it is. In uh, in first uh, category in Windows Azure, uh, there is uh, there are th three three different different prizes. It's uh, money, uh, five, four, and three thousand uh, zloty. So it's not a huge amount of money in euro, but it uh, <coughs> looks better in uh, in Polish zloty. In uh, in Windows Phone category, uh, they are they don't we don't have uh, money prizes. They are uh, phones, so the company can can get three, two, or one additional phone uh, for uh, for their, their uh, employees. Uh, what about special prizes? Two special prizes. One is interoperability. It is uh, it is the most important for us uh, here category, which is uh, focused on uh, solutions built with open source technology based on Azure. So any PHP application run on Azure can start in this, uh, in this competition. Uh, the second, the second uh, special prize is uh, additional solution which can best fit into public administration needs. So it's, uh, it, is, it is possible to have a phone application, an other application, or whatever kind of application, but fit to public sector, public administration needs. So use our imagination, invent something which can be useful for them, and you can start in this competition too. And uh, we have 10 additional uh, prizes which uh, are, uh, which are connected with uh, promotion, promotion of the company and of the sol solution um, on, the, on the market. And after that, there is a special prize, one, 
for every every category. The special pr prize, which is uh, <coughs> the title of the best of the best uh, solution, best application of the program, your business, your frame. And uh, after that, uh, not only title is important. Important is that uh, the company, one person from the winning company can attend Worldwide Partner Co Conference in Toronto this year. Uh, Microsoft will pay, pay everything for, for this person to present uh, this person on stage in Toronto and to present this solution on stage in Toronto. And uh, additional thing connected with this prize is uh, repre representation of Poland on regional uh, gala. So uh, in a regional, uh, regional competition, the best solution from Poland will be, will be chose, uh, chosen to, to represent Poland uh, on this uh, CE Central Eastern Europe level. And of course, additional financing <coughs> for 5,000 Zlotek. So the best, uh, the best, uh, best of the best application can, can choose uh, two times or even more. Uh, can be chosen two times or even more to get the prize. Additional, um, additional benefits if you start, if you, uh, if you even start uh, into, into the competition, in the, in your, in, in, if you go into this, uh, you, have, uh, you have access to the trainings, online trainings, which uh, normally are paid, so it will be free, and you get uh, technological support from Microsoft in uh, Azure Academy and uh, additional technological support for, for the application uh, during the development development time. So it is uh, very helpful if you don't know if you if you don't know very well of Microsoft solution you can you can use uh, our our support and connect this this technologies with your your primary technology uh, you are using. And of course, uh, after after the competition, uh, there is a business support for the chosen solutions. Uh, so we can cooperate with uh, marketing campaign. We can uh, we can cooperate on uh, PR, and uh, we can connect you with uh, the customers uh, needed this kind of solution you you create you you did. So it is quite quite good bunch of prizes, quite good um, set of, uh, of additional benefits for this. Uh, how about uh, jury? Who is uh, in jury? Okay, Microsoft of course. Uh, not exactly. So from Microsoft we have only one one person in this because uh, Tomasz. Uh, Tomasz is senior senior architect and evangelist uh, is a guy who knows everything about Azure and uh, programming in Azure in every technologies so I mean PHP and and uh, Java and uh, .NET you can use uh, you can use on Azure so he's re really good in this technologies and he's the only the, the only Microsoft employee in this uh, in this jury so it's not uh, it's the, there is no fear that uh, Microsoft will promote uh, the so solutions uh, mostly connected with, with our technologies. Uh, additional person with Microsoft in title is uh, regional director of Microsoft, uh, who is uh, like, who knows NBA, who plays NBA, uh, or like NBA. Uh, do you know the, the, sh the, the name MVP, most valuable player? So this is the kind of this guy. So he's not Microsoft employee, but he he knows about Microsoft very very mm, much. He knows our technology. He knows our business, and he he is very helpful for companies to to go into our technology. But he's he's not our mm, <coughs> employee, and he's not very uh, friendly to our technologies. He's uh, really. Mm, Realistic, let's say. <laughs> and uh, additional people from uh, Polish uh, Agency of uh, Entrepreneurial De Development and for, from uh, Venture Capital Funds. So, uh, 
from from uh, Angel of Business, and uh, will be some one or two persons from uh, GSM, one of uh, telecommunication operator, and some maybe more people. Uh, we are talking with uh, with some uh, journalists uh, focused on open source technologies to include this kind of people into into jury. For special prizes, for interoperability, okay, I am the jury, and only. So this is my decision. Which uh, which application will be chosen in this uh, in this category? But don't try to to drag me today. It won't work. Uh, and uh, for the for the um, most useful for public administration application, uh, it would be probably uh, probably uh, someone from uh, from Polish government. But uh, we don't have this guy in jury yet. We have a few months more. Uh, as I said, the most important for me and uh, potentially for you. Uh, categories interoperability. <coughs> I, per, I rephrased uh, the sentence from my colleague. In różnorodności uh, siła. In, in difference, we can uh, we can have power. Let's say like this. <laughs> it is yours. And uh, you can use, as I told, you can use any technology supported by by Windows Azure. So it can be, of course, .NET and uh, C Sharp, Visual Basic, C++. And of course, main mainstream technologies from open source: PHP, Ruby, Python, Java. You can use uh, Eclipse environment to create your application. Eclipse is installed and uh, delivered from Microsoft from Azure, so you don't need to have uh, your own own uh, environment and uh, think how to publish the application to, to Azure. Uh, you can, you should. In, in interoperability, use uh, existing system, existing portals, uh, social ne networks. For example, as uh, one of idea, for example, you can use uh, uh, authentication from Twitter for your for your application to publish, uh, for example, to publish the information from from your application into into Facebook. So you can you can connect everything because. Uh, as you probably know, all this uh, kind of stuff, all this kind of uh, social networks use uh, all out protocol, and Azure is using this, so you can connect this uh, very easily. And from my personal point of view, very important will be part of client software. Uh, of course, it must be client software for Windows, but not only for Windows. If you will have Client software for iOS, for Android, for Linux. <coughs> More points for for your application will be will be gained. So think about it. Especially that uh, Microsoft published a full set of uh, software development kits for for iOS, for Android, to uh, to develop applications uh, based on on Windows Azure. So it is uh, all you need to to create really interoperable uh, application and solution. So, that's all from me. It's uh, your business, your fame. You can try if you, if you have your own company or you <coughs> have good connection with your boss in your company and go for it because uh, it costs only your efforts. Any questions? So far, no. We set some questions for for this evening. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you very much.